Okay, so in this video, I am going to tell you about my program called Area Equations. Um, okay, area of what is what it is what it asks. You can find the area of a kite, parallelogram, trapezoid, circle, triangle, despite anything. This one has dot 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 because there are two methods to solving the area of a kite. A kite is kind of like a um. Well, you guys should know, but it's basically a diamond, except, well, yeah, I guess a, a kite could be a, d a diamond, but most kites are, usually have a stretched out side for that diamond, you know, it's like, it's like a square, like this, and a square like that, and it's stretched out, and basically, this will find the kite with two different methods, so you have the diagonals, where you find the diagonal, like the corner to corner and then corner to corner and then you use trigonometry with sine S-I-N-E but that's actually the function right there so I want to show you how they both work the area of a kite using my diagonals method is diagonal 1 the length of that times diagonal 2 and then all that divided by 2 so you can type in like 9 that's, that's diagonal 1 and then diagonal 2 is 16 and then you multiply the 2, divide by 2, and then you get 72 is the area so the area equals 72 units squared, that's basically how this program works um, find a circle of 2, pi r squared, everyone knows that one uh, you find the area of a triangle, I can't remember what this one is I know it's not 2 pi r, that's the volume. Um, 1 half base times height. The thing about finding the area of the base, the area of a triangle is the base. Sometimes you don't know that, so you have to solve for it. And that may be a little bit tricky. I don't have a program for that, but anyway. Along with that, you can also find the area of a par parallelogram, which is not, yep. Yeah, Squares included, and I didn't put square on here because parallelogram is basically including everything and a square. Parallelogram is any object with four sides, I think. No, no, four equal sides. So um, that's basically a parallelogram. And I didn't put, what is it again? I didn't put rectangle on here because everyone knows what a rectangle is. It's two times one side. No, it's two it's length times width, yeah, length times width, it's not that hard it's length times width, and everyone knows that a rectangle is longer than it is tall so you just, that's what a rectangle looks like, and it's the same with a square so if you go into parallelogram, it's what it says here, base times height length times width, really the same thing so you can do 2 and 9 and bam that's basically how the program works now let me show you how big it is, it's really not that big 670 bytes right there um, Overall, I'd say it's pretty. Uh, overall, I'd say it's pretty bad because it, I could optimize it a little bit better, but I'm not even gonna waste my time. I have plenty of room in my calculator, so here's what it looks like. Okay, that's the lock part. That's lock. That's lock. Okay, so here we go. We have it clears the home and goes into menus, and got all these options here. Then you go into if, like it has each option ordered, you have the triangle, then you have parallelogram, and then you have, what is this one? I don't know what this one is. And then you have the other one, and it just keeps going on and on. This is circle. This is this one right here is the menu for if you choose, you want to find the area of a kite. You have the diagonals or the trig. Uh, diagonal method right here, and then the trig method right here. And basically it. I mean, I don't. I don't have to put the stop here. It'll work without the stop. And that's pretty much it. So if you guys want to get it, it's already on my website, ticalc.yolasite.com. Y O L A S I T E. And it's under my new programs tab, and then scroll down to area equations. Uh, thanks, guys.